The final day of what has been one of the most unpredictable rallies of the season. Friday's action was entirely dominated by M Sport winning every single stage until disaster struck on Saturday, leaving Sebastian Loeb and Gus Greensmith sidelined while Pierre Louis Loubet picked up a puncture. Oh. Since then, Hyundai have won every stage and remain on course for the team's first ever top three lockout. Thierry Neuville then leading the rally and posting the second fastest time on the opening test today. The Belgian poised to take his first WRC win since Spain 2021. I don't know if it's about team orders. I think with what happened again this morning, um, Hyundai has really to make sure to secure the first triple podium for the team. I mean, we could be so proud of us. Um, it took, uh, took a while, but uh, yeah, um, if we could finally get there, I think it would be a fantastic result for the team after all those efforts and uh, hard times. Oit Tanak was still pushing though. He won the opening stage, but only nibbled 2.9 seconds out of Neuville's 28 second rally lead. No, nobody talked to me this morning, so I'm quite surprised about the management. But, but OK, uh, yeah, we, then we do our best, so nothing else we can do at the moment. The fight for third, meanwhile, was short-lived. Elvin Evans was just seven seconds behind Danny Sordo, but a turbo failure on the road section to the stage start brought his day to an end. No fight for the podium and no championship points for Evans. For Sordo, this took the pressure right off. Really disappointed for Evans. Uh, like he have a issue in the car, I think, and also for. For Toyota, obviously, no, but uh, yeah, for, for us it was a little bit more easy for Huard because uh, if not, I'm sure Evans they will put uh, us in the pressure to, to take this third place. But yeah, it's rally, sometimes it's like this, it's, it's not fair, but anyway, uh, we are happy for our side. Toyota have struggled all weekend and when asked about scoring power stage points, championship leader Kali Rovampera wasn't even confident about that. I think I've said it already and uh, yeah, we just uh, try our best still and let's see what happens. Stage 15 and the penultimate of the rally. It was another win for Neuville with Tanak second. The Estonian had stopped pushing and it soon became clear why. I know before the stage we were told to hold the position, so uh, yeah, no more pushing. Team orders then. The Hyundai drivers told to hold station and bring the cars home for a 1-2-3. Further back, despite his puncture on Friday, Craig Breen in fifth position, just behind his M Sport teammate Pierre Louis Loubet in a creditable fourth. Into the power stage and Danny Sordo safely through. One Hyundai down, two to go. Tanak came next and he did it in style. Not a fan of the team orders, but he won the power stage, taking five extra championship points. Depends what is the target. If you want to fight for the championship, then it was wrong. And uh, if you want to have a good PR, it's the right decision. So, uh, yeah, it depends uh, whose perspective we are looking for. Neville still had a job to do, though, but he was cruising. Not interested in setting a power stage winning time. Nearly 15 seconds slower than Tanak, but it was enough to confirm the win. Hyundai, one, two, three, for the first time in the team's history. Yeah, it is. I mean, it has been a tough season so far. And uh, yeah, to, to get the victory final here after a very difficult weekend in Belgium, uh, it's a release. But uh, yeah, um, I think the most important is that we have a one, two, three for the team. Um, after all those years, Finally we got it and it's a historical moment for, for the brand, for the team, everybody who has put all those efforts uh, 
in this and uh, I think uh, it's a nice reward. Can you believe it? Toyota did not take a single stage win in Greece as the WRC readies itself for Rally New Zealand. Tanak is now just 53 points behind Rovan Pera in the Drivers' Championship with 90 points still available. It's Rovan Pera versus Tanak. Which way does your vote go? Let us know in the comments section below. We go again in three weeks' time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>